Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 719. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 715 to 721. In this video here, we need a formula to tell us when this item is in this list, when this item is in this list. Now, a great way to do this is with the match function. Now, I've done other videos on comparing two lists, which is what this is. We're just going to run into a particular uh, problem matching numbers and numbers stored as text. And then we'll see two ways to solve this problem. The match function is a lookup function. It's great for comparing two lists. We simply say match the lookup value. Please find that 101 comma within this range over here. And I'll hit the F4 key to lock it comma, and we want exact match because we're look, we want to actually match and see if this item is over in that other list. Now match will give us the ordinal position. When we copy this down, NA means that 101 is not in this list. But when I copy it down, this small data set, we can clearly say that match is supposed to be telling us that 102 is the first item in the list and that 103 is the second item in this list. So what is going on here? Well, simply it comes from the fact that these are numbers stored as numbers and these are numbers stored as text. When, when match looks at a number, 102, and looks at text, 102, there is no match. It either has to be text, text, or number, number. So we're going to amend our formula. We're going to convert our lookup value to a text item, a number as text, by simply going ampersand, which is the join symbol, shift 7, and double quote. Joining, uh, double quote is the syntax for nothing. So joining nothing with a number converts it to text. And now there can be a match. You can see if I double click and F9 that, 101 is a number. Control Z, but what if I highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate? You can see now it's in, te in double quotes, which means Excel sees it as text or a word. Control Z, Control Enter. So now we get a match uh, 102 text versus 101. 102 text, there's a match and it says the first position. Now, you maybe don't want this, you want a false for not in list and a true if in list. So you would simply, although that's fine for most purposes, right? You could sort or do whatever you want and get the NAs all together and then delete or whatever it is. But if you need a true and false, you just say, is this a number? So that will just, is number takes whatever it is. And if it's a number, it says true. If not, it says false. All right, so that's how to do it with a formula, uh, converting the number to number as text. I'm going to uh, copy this and paste it down here, and we'll see one other great way to do this. Now, I want to amend this formula, so I'm simply going to point to the edge when I see my move cursor. That's the move cursor. Click and drag down here. So now, why am I getting a true? Oh, because uh, I have the same formula. What we want to see down here is the opposite. Here, we needed to keep these as text, so we had to amend our formula. But oftentimes, you know, you want to just do your basic formula like this, and you absolutely do not want these stored as uh, text. So there's a quick and easy way. Well, that's still not. These should all be false. Oh, there, there we go. I didn't copy it down. These are all false. So we can simply take this column and do te uh, text to column, which means if we do this, it will take numbers stored as text and convert them back to numbers. Now, the long way is data, text to column, and then just click Finish. But I want to show you the keyboard shortcut. Notice that F there, that little underlined F. The reason why this is so great as a keyboard shortcut, because if you get data like this all the time, it is just lightning fast, faster than editing your formula. Now let's just see what the Alt, A-L-T key does. When I hit Alt in 2007 and 10, you see an A, so I tap an A, and then you see an E, and you see an E, and then you see an F, so you tap an F. Now that's now we can see that our formula is working because these have been converted to numbers. I'm going to Control Z on that. In earlier versions, instead of an A for data, it was D. So it's DEF, and that's the one I have memorized, Alt-DEF. See how fast? Let's do that again. Control-Z, keyboard shortcuts, rule, Alt-DEF. 
and just like that it's working. That's faster than editing your formula and copying it down. All right, two ways to match when you have uh, numbers and numbers stored as text. See you next trick.